Hello guys, good evening. Welcome to my channel. So today I am here with a new uh, recruitment notification. Uh, but this is from private side. Uh, but uh, the uh, type of job that you will work, the type of salary, and the job location, and examination center, and the fees, and the qualification, everything is suitable for you all because. Uh, uh, any uh, 12th pass student can also apply or any degree student can apply and 12th pass student can also apply. So this is a very good opportunity guys. I felt this notification was very good and since it is from a very good company also, uh, any student can apply. So please don't think that uh, this is a private job and I shouldn't apply but uh, please think about it uh, because um, uh, this is a very good opportunity for all the students and no experience is required, no certification is required and uh, the job is in the uh, air airport company. So I guess um, this is one of the very good opportunity for all the students who are uh, waiting for these kind of jobs. And since this uh, gives uh, lots of exposure exposure towards you and uh, you will be having some kind of experience and if, if you skip from this job to other job also. So I would recommend uh, since uh, the fees is also very less, I'll speak about it in the uh, later time. So since the fees is also less, um, you can give it a try. Okay. So there is nothing like that. Uh, you cannot give the try itself. So if you're interested, you can please uh, apply for this job. Okay. Now let us see from where this uh, notification has been released. So it has been from released from IGI Aviation Service Private Limited. So it is an, a, a leading aviation service provider at Delhi Airport. Invites online applications for the different ground department of AGI airports such as airlines, ground handling companies, hospitality, retail, food court, cargo for CSA profile. So almost uh, multiple. Uh, 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 job roles has been provided by this company and it mainly uh, works at the Delhi airport. Okay, so the job location will be most probably in Delhi airport itself, but um, we, we can't say there can be other uh, subsidiaries where uh, it can also handle other different airports in uh, different uh, states. Okay, so keeping that in mind, let us see. So there are to totally 1095 seats. So just imagine. So there are vacancies of 1095. So this will, this will uh, since the opportunity is very high and um, I guess most of the students will not be knowing about this job. So the applications will also be very less. Okay. So please remember that also. And the position is customer service agent. As, as I said, uh, in these uh, uh, sectors, you will be having, you will be working here and any 12th pass or uh, any graduate can apply for this job and expect a salary. Yes, uh, a salary is a bit low as per the current trend, which is up to 15,000, 25,000. So on an average, you may get up to 20,000 or 21,000. But um, at this time, since uh, uh, no government job is uh, calling uh, very quickly. Uh, they can take this as an opportunity at least for at least for some time. Okay, so and age limit is 18 to 30. Okay, so please remember totally 1095 seats are here. Both male and female can apply and freshers can also apply. So no aviation airline certificate or diploma required. So nothing like that is required. So only thing is you need to be a 12th pass or a graduate. Okay, so a written examination. See, there will be 100 questions, 90 minutes. So no problem of timings also. So then the topics are general awareness 25, English 25, aptitude and reasoning 25 and aviation knowledge 25. So totally 100, will, 100 marks for 90 minutes will be there. Okay, it, it consists of 100 MCQ, all our MCQ and each question carries one mark and no uh, marks will be awarded for unattempted question. The level of examination will be 12th. Okay, so please have this in mind also. The level of examination will be 12th, which is a bit easier as compared to the degree one. Okay, there will be no negative marking. So this is one more plus point. So please have this in mind also. Uh, there is no negative marking by filling the online application form you need to give the examination center because the examination cent examination centers are all over india so uh, you can um, remove the fear that uh, you, know, you need to go to delhi only for uh, writing the examination but no not like that you know, you'll be having a lot of choices so i'll speak about that uh, in the further slide okay don't worry about that okay so uh, these are the normal other instructions that has been provided so yeah this is the center of examinations so from Bihar and Uttar Pradesh, you'll have be having Agra, uh, Gorakhpur, Kanpur, Lucknow, Prayagraj, Varanasi, Patna, Darbanga, Muzarapur, Muzarpur, okay. I guess I spelled it wrong, but let it be. So you can see the other places also. So almost the states have been clubbed and then um, a good amount of um, um, uh, examination centers has been provided. So don't worry about that. Uh, almost everything has been covered like Assam, Manipur. This is the northeastern region and uh, the uh, southern region has also been covered. Everything has been provided here. Okay, and examination, uh, sorry, the commencement of online uh, application is 5th January 2022 and the closure is 22nd May. Okay, so please have this in mind also. So the closure is 22nd May, still you have 20 days of time. So not a problem with that. 
so if you feel you are in, uh, you are interested about this job then please apply for it okay since the examination uh, uh, closing of the registration is on 22nd may okay how to apply so what i'll do is uh, i'll pin the uh, link in the description box from there you can directly go to the website and uh, apply if you are interested okay now let us see the other details so before submitting the candidate must preview the application to ensure that see there shouldn't be any mistakes so if you do any mistakes then it will be of a waste of uh, time okay and the candidates are advised to register well in time since the application portal witnesses a huge number of application during the closing dates selection of candidate a candidate has to first appear for written test candidates who qualify in the written test will appear for personal round of interview so a single exam and then an interview will be conducted in the uh, okay and the timing for the interview will be mentioned in the call letter which will be uploaded in the website based on the combined per performance of the written test and the personal round of interview a candidate will be shortlisted for final selection uh, to successful completion of their character antece antecedent verification followed by medical test so these are the common procedure that will be followed by almost all the recruit recruitment agencies so it's not a problem for you all and general conditions for the candidates before applying candidate must go to each and everything so these are the common things that will be provided by almost all the examination and uh, so for the examination interview no ta will be provided so the traveling allowances will not be provided by the company so that is one drawback here but still uh, it's okay it's not a problem for uh, with respect to this if you need a job and a certain amount of training fee is also applicable after clearing the written test so yeah you need to have training right for working in uh, a specific uh, core uh, company so for that you need to have some training as and a certain amount they haven't mentioned the amount so but a certain amount will be uh, charged for the um uh, examination sorry the training okay mobile phones are, are not allowed the arrangement uh, everything has been provided these are the common uh, normal instructions that will be provided the number of seats are provisional and liable to change so i guess it won't change it can increase but neither decrease that's because uh, the demand uh, of the number of uh, employees in these kind of things has increased so for that uh, uh, that there can be increase in the number of vacancies but uh, there will be never um, decrease in the number of vacancies so i guess uh, they haven't uh, provided the you know details of the fee payment so according to me there there won't be any fee or uh, payment that has to be paid but still you, know, you have to check it in the portal uh, by going to the apply portal so if you get there i guess the if fees is present then it will be nominal also it won't be more than uh, 500 rupees it can be around 100 rupees or like that okay so since the examination center is all over india so i guess it would be a very good chance for you all to apply okay so these were the complete details of this notification guys since the number of vacancies are very high so please give it a mind and if you are interested then you can surely apply for this job okay that's all for today guys if you like the video please like it and share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel that's all for today thank you